but it's not yours in terms of money, public taking from the public coffers, abusing power and authority. It's deep driven by human greed. Greed for power, greed for authority, greed for money and what money can bring you. Uh, that's the only thing I can explain. Otherwise, what drives a person to go into all this kind of thing? Uh, apa ni, uh, I would call it misadventures lah in life. What is greed? Why do people steal to get more than what they can earn? Greedy and driven not by conscience but based instincts of greed, avarice and not being satisfied with what you have. They find ways and means. They find ways and means which we won't be able to even think because it's not our lifestyle, you know. Most of us are happy with what we have. I can I dare say lah, like, betul tak? In fact, many of us are bersyukur, grateful. Doesn't matter what religion you are, you're grateful to God Almighty that first you're grateful for having lived today. Supposing I died last night, I would be here. Think about it. Supposing I died last night, I would be talking. So I'd be grateful. I live and I still be able. I might die later, but at least I fulfill one of the days. To speak without fear or favor. And able to wear what I want to wear with my hard-earned money is more important. Yeah. And that gives satisfaction. I don't know how do you describe when you are satisfied. I cannot describe. I'm just saying. I'm, look at the way I walk. I walk. It, that's a try. You know, I can laugh and talk. And I don't care who you are from Oman to Oman. I don't care. Mandu, lah. Mandu, mandu, mandu. Itu mandu lah. Apa nak show mandu? No, they're not just, they're part of the business. They're, they're a part and parcel of helping the business grow. That's what they should do. And the only way the business can grow is when it's done ethically. Some businesses have to shut down because they've been unethical. Among the corporates, uh, and maybe among the businesses in Malaysia, what is the level of awareness in terms of internal audit? I think uh, almost everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They use that vehicle for private gain. They use yeah. that company for private gain. No, not listed, not listed. I mean, they, okay, company A, but it, they take away from their own company. Can be done. Yes, be. Anak-anak, father and son. And there's no requirements to do it. Yeah, don't do, don't do it lah. You know. I charge to the company. Actually, I beli barang mini. I beli beautiful diamond ring for my wife. That's the company expense. And I show a loss. Tak payah-bayah income tax. Kan? I go for holiday, do it as business expense. Correct? Ah, correct. And then, you know, your business really don't flourish. Avoid tax lah. I think you own the hambi, I don't know, for your benefit. So, they can do that because that's the mandatory for your internal auditor. So, the internal auditor is your conscience, you know. I forgot to say that. What's important is the attitude towards work. The commitment was doing things well, you know. So as long as they go on the straight and narrow, they have uh, that conscience driving them to do their work well, they'll be very good auditors, whether they're external or internal. As you know, in the world, you can have any kind of law. Lah, because there are people who violate the law. You read today, today's article in the Sun, I wrote, of law and lawlessness. Other things along the, along the way, set the processes so that you can be transparent, you can be uh, uh, having good governance, you can do things properly, put it that way, bottom line, do everything properly. And sometimes, you know, you're so busy buying and selling or, or trading, right? so busy, that you forget that low, at the lower end, you need to have people to keep records properly, uh, to make sure transactions are above board, yeah? uh, let us say uh, financials are kept uh, accounting is kept properly so that you show a true picture of the business. 